Mary Shelley's acclaimed horror novel taught us what might go wrong if man decided to play God and attempt to create life. But sadly, it seems there are an awful lot of scientists who either haven't read Frankenstein or did and thought to themselves, eh, whatever. Because still, there are scientists out there who think they know better and just keep on trying. These are mysterious creatures created by scientists. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. <sighs> Number 10. Zombie Dogs. At the Pittsburgh University Safar Center for Resuscitation Research, doctors put some dogs to clinical death prior to reviving them. According to the researchers, this achievement formed a major step toward preserving human life, especially in the event of grievous injuries. They executed a simple strategy in their achievement, which involved flushing out blood from the dogs' bodies and supplying them with a chilled saline solution mixed with glucose and oxygen instead. The dogs slipped into cardiac arrest with no brain activity or heartbeat, meaning they were clinically dead. The director of the Safar Center, Patrick Kochenek, together with his colleagues, said that the dogs remained in a suspended animation state. Three hours later, the group withdrew the saline solution and reintroduced the blood, which eventually warmed the dogs and revived them. Using a moderate electric shock, the specialists jump-started the dogs' hearts. Some of the dogs sustained permanent damage, but many survived. The researchers said their main objective was to save lives and believe that with financial capability, they may be able to conduct human trials in the near future. This could, of course, be a risky trial, but the doctors believe that it's worth trying. Now it's time for the rare topic. When we received an email from a man named Archibald Tomes claiming to have a photo we might be interested in, we weren't sure what to say. But naturally, we here at this channel are dedicated to exploring the strangest corners of the internet, so we invited him to send us what he had. This photo arrived, with Archibald insisting that this was genuine photographic evidence of a man made creature. He says that he didn't take the photo himself, he was simply given it by an associate. This friend of his claims to have worked at a Brazilian hospital, but one night, when drunk, admitted to Tomes that the Brazilian hospital was actually a cover for something far darker and stranger, an experimental facility dedicated to trying to create synthetic humans. The friend gave Tomes this image, saying it was a photo of the first successful living creature made. What do you think? Is Tomes' friend telling the truth, or is this an elaborate fake. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and we will pin the comment that best explains what is being shown on this image. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 9. Sudden Death Mosquito Mosquitoes are tiny but destructive organisms popularly known for spreading malaria. Malaria is among the world's most dangerous diseases, which experts believe could have infected the dinosaurs. The disease has been detected in the mummified remains of age-old Egyptians and is believed to have been responsible for the death of Genghis Khan. So deadly is malaria that a Nobel Prize winner opined that malaria could be the cause of a big percentage of human deaths. While efforts have been made to treat malaria and prevent mosquito bites, such as quinine pills, vaccines, bed nets, and pesticides, many people still die as a result of the disease. Recently, scientists set out to try a different approach. Rather than treating humans, they decided to treat the mosquitoes. Researchers from California University's San Diego and Irvine campuses released a report indicating that they had procreated a breed of mutant bugs that could eradicate malaria from the mosquito population in the world. The development relied on a disputed advanced gene editing technique referred to as CRISPR-Cas9. The technique allowed the scientists to cut out sections of a living thing's DNA and implant new ones. With this technique, the researchers included a robust tool known as a gene drive that ensures that all the mosquito brood would acquire their resistance. Further, they included a group of genes to their mutant mosquitoes in order to necessitate malaria resistance. Number 8 Human Pig Chimera In a relatively controversial achievement, scientists announced that they had developed the inaugural and successful animal-human hybrid. The project shows that human cells can be imported to non-human creatures, exist, and even develop in the host animal, which here was a pig. According to research, many people across the world will die as they wait for an organ donor. It was this revelation that necessitated this creation, with scientists believing that creating custom organs inside 
non-human creatures would go a long way in saving lives. A team of researchers managed by Salk University developed an organism that's comprised of cells from various species. The organism is scientifically known as a chimera. Recently, animal-human chimeras are unreachable and related experiments today can't get public funding in the US. Presently, the Salk group has been relying on donors to execute the chimera project. There have been various obstacles to the development of animal-human organisms, such as public opinion. Chimeras can be created by importing organs from either creature to the other. Scientists, however, opine that this is a risky method because the host system can reject it. Number 7. The Conti Mouse in 1997, a weird image showing a hairless mouse went viral. It had what seemed like a human ear developing out of its back. The image ignited protests against genetic engineering. However, genetic engineering wasn't responsible for having the ear occupy a large part of the mouse's back. Many people may wonder why having a spare human ear is even necessary. This, according to scientists, is because repairing the ear is a daunting task. The ear is made of cartilage, and working with it can be difficult. Still, it has a complex and visible shape, which means that a spare ear can come to be useful. The Mouse Ear Project began in the year 1989 when Charles Vacant succeeded in growing a tiny piece of human cartilage on an environmentally friendly board. The board was the exact synthetic material utilized in liquefying surgical stitches. In the body, it degenerates into water and carbon dioxide. The fibers of this board were woven to form a loose mesh which was 97% air. This created lots of room allowing the cells to develop. Charles knew from his surgeon colleagues that the reconstruction of the human ear wasn't an easy task, and they looked forward to having a spare ear for transplantation purposes. Number 6. Umbuku Lizard Scientists created the Umbuku Lizard uh, to show that doing so was possible. Why not? Genetic scientists in Zimbabwe succeeded in unlocking a comatose floating strand in the Umbuku lizard DNA, a scarce and quite small lizard indigenous to Africa. Scientists believe that the lizard is an offspring of the pterodactyl, which has not been able to fly for many years now. Currently, only six flying Umbuku have been created. Further, they are isolated from the natural Umbuku to discourage crossbreeding. Number 5. Dolian. The Dolian is a clear indication of what science can do with cross-fertilization and advanced DNA techniques. The Dolian is a crossbreed between a dog and a lion. Only three Dolians are available in laboratories. To create the Dolian, individual DNA strands from both a dog and a lion are mixed and reinserted in a host egg. The Dolian shares similarities with the Liger, which is a crossbreed of a lion and a tiger. However, the Liger can be created without preliminarily manipulating the DNA of any of the two animals. Number 4. Glowfish. The glowfish was the inaugural genetically modified animal to be used as a pet. It's a normal zebrafish with genetic data from bioluminescent jellyfish included in its DNA. The glowfish was previously produced to act as a warning system for contamination. However, with the inclusion of additional colors, it became more ideal for use as a pet. The glowfish premiered in the US market in December 2003, introduced by Yorktown Technologies of Austin, Texas. The organization bought the license and developed its inaugural fluorescent aquarium pet. Currently, there are 12 color combinations and species of the glowfish, which include zebrafish, tetras, and barbs. Their colors include moonrise pink, electric green, and cosmic blue. The fish shine in an entirely dark room. Number 3. Belgian Blue Cows Belgian Blue Cows originated in Upper and Central Belgium. Shorthorn bulls were transported to Belgium from the UK to enhance the Belgian dairy-type population of the Black Pied and Red Pied cattle. These cows are huge and come with outstanding muscles and a rounded outline. The loin, shoulder, rump, and back feature heavy muscles. The rump is slanted while the back is straight with strong legs. It has a fine skin and a pronounced tail set. The color of the Belgian blue cows varies from blue roan, black, white, or even a combination of the aforementioned colors. Some species are red in color. The Belgian blue cows are generally cool, and an adult bull can weigh between 1,100 to 1,250 kilograms, with the height ranging between 1.45 meters and 1.5 meters. However, they don't usually grow beyond 1,300 kilograms. Cows can weigh up to 900 kilograms, with a height of up to 1.4 meters. Belgian blue cows aren't born with intense muscles. They begin developing at approximately six weeks. Research indicates that Belgian blue cattle have a gene which restrains myostatin
myostatin production. Myostatin is a protein which usually restricts the development of muscles at some point. Pure Belgian blue cattle have two types of this gene. However, only one copy is disseminated in crossbreeding and is responsible for increasing the cattle's weight. Number 2. Featherless Chicken According to a geneticist from Israel who has developed a bare-skinned model, the featherless chicken could be all the world needs to cater for mass poultry farming, especially in warmer countries. The new chicken is designed for faster growth, environmental friendliness, lower calories, and ability to survive in warmer conditions, according to Hebrew University's Avigdor Kahaner. The geneticist developed his red-skinned chicken by crossbreeding a broiler chicken with a natural bare-neck chicken. Critics, however, say that the featherless chicken happening as a result of accidental genetic mutation suffer more compared to normal birds. The inability to flap their wings denies the male featherless chicken a mating chance. Critics also opine that featherless chicken is at risk of getting attacked by mosquitoes and parasites, and suffering sunburn too. However, some people say that featherless chicken presents various benefits. For instance, they say that processing the chicken becomes easier and it retains more nutrients since none are wasted to produce feathers. Crossbred chicken is smaller compared to broilers, with scientists saying that crossbreeding increases weight. Number 1. See-Through Frog Frogs are available in various colors, ranging from red, dull green, and vivid yellow. Scientists from Japan, however, have created a transparent frog. The transparent skin allows scientists to easily view its blood vessels and internal organs. According to researchers, this development can be quite beneficial to medicine while creating a cheaper option of studying a variety of diseases. Professor Masayuki Sumida of the Amphibian Biology Institute at the Hiroshima University opined that scientists were able to evaluate the effect of chemicals and drugs on the creature's blood vessels and internal organs without dissecting or killing them. Seeing that the frogs will be transparent from birth all through to adulthood, its organs can be studied throughout. This way, medical students are able to study and understand the impact of specific chemicals on the creature's bones conveniently. According to scientists, they'll work on perfecting the creation of the transparent frog as well as patent the breeding process. Out of 16 frogs that the scientists bred, only one has transparent skin. Further, they've tried to breed see-through frogs from the transparent frogs in vain. A big percentage of see-through creatures in the world live underwater.